Hello students, I am Sanjana Kavatagi, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, AITM, Bargavi. Let us continue with the video lectures on storage area networks. Uh, now we shall study some of the local replication technologies. In this video, I will be explaining about host based local replication. Uh, local replication technologies host based storage array based and network based replications are the major technologies that are used for the local replication so file system replication and lbm based replication are the examples of host based local replication in host based replication we are going to study uh, lbm based as well as file system replication okay uh, storage array based replication can be implemented with the distinct solutions like uh, full volume mirroring pointer based full volume replication and pointer based virtual replication so continuous data protection uh, cdp uh, is an another example of network based replication okay continuous data protection is the example of network based replication host based local replication in this we are going to study lvm based replication as well as file system snapshot okay these are the two common methods of host based local replication lvm based replication in lvm based replication uh, the logical volume manager is responsible for creating and controlling the host level logical volumes uh, so an lvm has three basic components that is physical volumes or you can say physical disk and then we have volume groups and the logical volumes okay as we all know that lvm has three components physical volume volume groups and the logical volumes a physical uh, a volume group is created by grouping grouping one or more physical volumes logical volumes are created within the given volume group okay so then a volume group can have multiple logical volumes so in case of uh, lvm replication each logical block in a logical volume is mapped to two physical blocks on two different physical volumes that is shown in the figure okay so an application uh, write to a logical volume is written to two physical volumes by the lvm device driver since it is mapped to two physical devices to physical uh, volumes okay so it is also known as lvm mirroring okay so the mirrors can be split and the data contained therein can be independently accessed you can see in the figure okay uh, the host that has the logical volume is mapped to one one uh, unit in the logical volume you can say there are two direction two arrow marks given to one physical volume one and the physical volume two that means each uh, logical volume is mapped to two physical volumes that means what one write to this is going to cause write in two physical volumes one write to logical volume is going to cause two writes so that is why it is called as uh, lvm mirroring also okay so now what are the advantages of this lvm based replication so the lvm based replication technology it is not dependent on a vendor specific storage system okay so it is not dependent on vendor specific storage system uh, typically lvm is the part of the operating system and it it does not require any additional license to deploy the lvm mirroring so that is the advantage of lvm based replication now let us see the limitations of lvm based replication so every write that is generated by an application translates into two writes on the disk so thus uh, an additional burden is placed on the host cpu okay so this is going to degrade the application performance so the presenting an lvm based local replica to another host is usually not possible because the replica will be uh, still be a part of the volume group which is usually accessed by one host at any given time okay so uh, this is the main disadvantage of the lvm based replication so tracking changes to the mirrors and performing incremental resynchronization operations is also a challenge because all lvms do not support incremental 
resynchronization. If the devices are already protected by some level of braid on the array, then the additional protection that the LVM mirroring provides is unnecessary. So this solution does not scale to provide replicas of federated databases and applications. Uh, both the replica and the source are stored within the same volume group. Therefore, the replica might become unavailable if there is an error in the volume group or if the server fails. Uh, both the source and the replica unavailable until the server is brought back onto the online. Okay. So, in case of the server failure, both the source as well as the replica will be unavailable until the, until the server is uh, brought back online. This is about LVM based replication. Next, we shall see file system snapshot. Next, we have is the file system snapshot. A file system or FS snapshot is a pointer based replica that requires a fraction of the space used by the production FS. So, basically, FS is a pointer based replica that is going to require only a small portion or a fraction of the space that is used by the production file system this snapshot can be implemented either by fs or by lvm okay so it makes use of the copy on first write that is cofw cofw principle to create snapshots okay so uh, when a snapshot is created a bitmap and a block map are created in the metadata of the snap file system okay so the bitmap is used to keep track of the blocks that are changed on the production file system after the snap creation okay and then the block map is used to indicate the exact address from which the data is to be read when the data is accessed from a snap fs that is file system okay so immediately after the creation of the file snapshot file system snapshot all the reads from the snapshot are actually served by reading the production file system in a copy on first track mechanism if a write io is issued the production uh, fs for the first time after the creation of a snapshot the io is held and the original data of production file system corresponding to that location is moved to the file uh, snap file system okay so then we write uh, so then the write will be allowed to the production fs so the bitmap and the block map are updated accordingly subsequent writes to the same location do not initiate the copy on first write activity okay so to read from the snap fs the bitmap is consulted if the bit is zero then the read is directed to the production fs if the bit is one then the block address is obtained from the block map and the data is read from that address on the snap okay so this read request from the production file system work as normal uh, okay uh, the figure illustrates the right operation to the production file system for example consider a write data C occurs on block 3 at the production FS which currently holds the data C, small c. Okay, just observe the figure. So, uh, the write data is capital C that occurs on the block 3 at the production file system which is cu currently holding the data small c. Okay, so the snapshot application holds the IO to the production FS and first copies the old data small c to an available block of data uh, in the snapshot uh, and then the bitmap and block map, uh, block map values of block 3 in the production file system are changed in the snap metadata okay so this is the process so then the bitmap of block 3 is changed to 1 indicating that this block has changed on the production file system The block map of block 3 is changed and indicates the block number where the data is written in snapfs. Okay, so after uh, this is done, the IOs to the production file system are allowed to complete.
After this, any subsequent writes to a block 3 on the production file system occurs as normal and it does not initiate the copy on first write operation. Similarly, if an IO is issued at block 4 on the production file system to change the data small d to capital D, the snapshot application holds the IO to the production file system and copies the old data to an available data block on the snap file system. So then it changes the bitmap of block 4 to 1 indicating that the block has changed on the production file system. So the production for block 4 indicates the block number where the data can be found on the snap file system. So in this case the block 1 of the snap fx, uh, uh, the block 1 is the, it is the uh, block 1 of the snap file system. So after this is done the IO to the production file system is allowed to complete. We shall continue storage array based local replication in the next video. Thank you for watching.